We're backstage talking with Luke Bouchard and you're the lead makeup artist back here. Tell me what kind of look you're going for. We're going for, for a look that's very natural, kind of a flush. Uh, somebody was uh, kidding yesterday saying, you know, it's like a, the, the little girl kissed a tulip because that's, that was the inspiration of uh, the designer. So it's a flush of color on the brow bone and then on the cheek, same thing here. And it's a mixture of, it's basically a mixture of cream. If you want, I can do a little bit on you. Yeah, I'd love that. See, this one is tea petal, and okay. this one is, yes, this one is something special. So what we did is sort of blend depending on the skin tone and the color, and we just apply it here on top. You have a little bit of mascara there that uh, <laughs> <laughs> I know the humidity, right? Yeah. Yeah, but it's very, like, it's kind of a, a wash a wash of the color that you pull up pull out here and then you pull it out also as the blush same color then we come back powder blush I'm sorry that's okay we come back with a powder blush and you just go over it and just to secure it because it's a cream so it doesn't move too much and we go down here as a, a, like a real flush would be right just here and down here with the same color on the lid we have a highlighter that's called this is a, we have three or four tones of that and this is normally you put that under the eye to cancel any tones but in this case what we did is just apply it to the lid so that we have a little bit of uh, it opens the eye a little bit see and see how like it's not dramatic from the other side it just makes her eye her eye color first of all comes out a little bit more and the same thing on the lip the lip that she has now is very close to what we we're doing except that we, we had a little bit more of the Cindy uh, Lauper Viva Glam look in it <laughs> Gla gloss in it so basically we didn't want a shiny lip so we just mixed it with a base like you have now right and then press it on with your finger so that it doesn't look like a lipstick okay you know so it looks more natural then generous mascara on top especially which you have it's good but i would put more even on top and you know if you look at the difference is very minimal but at the same time it changes everything right there's a glow that comes uh, with those colors that look natural, look like they're part of your skin tone at the same time, but it just like like a <laughs> kick up. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> Let me even out the other eye. Oh, thank you. <laughs> I'm sure you'll yeah, appreciate that. Yeah, through the day. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and it's not, you know, it's nothing obvious, so you won't. Right. Mascara a little bit again, and then we'll just go here. And what are some tips you would give to girls as far as applying? I think that, uh, first of all, it's easier. You, some people like it with their fingers, mm -hmm. but it's really hard, I think, to have a cream that's well blended to the skin with your fingers uh, without leaving traces, you know what I mean? Like, without the, an HD now, we can see everything. So <laughs> it's better to use a brush so that it's a bit more refined. It goes down. Just make sure that it's a bit more matte center and what are some trends that you're seeing with makeup well so far well you know it's very early <laughs> in fashion mm -hmm. week but what I've seen is, is very natural so far just flush of colors and you know a sun kiss look or like so far it's very very natural I am certain that it will take up and you know will go, go into a much more uh, rich makeup but not sure where. I'm doing Milan and Paris this season and usually it comes together in Paris so we'll see where it goes. Today we're doing the semi-permanent eyelash extensions. I'm Clementina and we're at my studio Envious Lashes in Manhattan. All right, so what type of look are you going for today? I think I want something fun and sexy, flirty, um, longer lashes. But how much longer than your natural lashes you want to go? One, two millimeters? Uh, what do you think? I think uh, a millimeter or two would be a good, um, just good enough. And okay. turn to the side. 
You also have like a nice curl on the natural lash, so a soft curl will work best for you. And um, style, uh, I suggest a cat eye look, okay. which is shorter hair, gradually longer towards the outer end. And volume, I'm thinking 80 to like 95 strands per eye, I'll give you a nice pop. First, we have to clean the under eye area because we're gonna use a gel pad to tape it, um, to tape it down. This prevents the top and bottom lashes from sticking together during the application. These are the gel pads I'll be using. It's also an under eye cream. It's good for um, bags and um, puffiness. Is that comfortable? Mm -hmm. When you come in for your application, you have to have absolutely no eye makeup, eye cream. I'm cleaning off her natural lashes with makeup remover. It's like, like I said, we want to make sure the lashes are completely um, oil free and free of makeup. She also has like a, a really good um, set of lashes. I would say they're about nine to nine to about 10 millimeters long. So she has really good lashes to work with. Today I'll be using um, 0.2 millimeters lashes on her. Um, that gives her a nice pop. Um, she won't need mascara. The lashes come in uh, different lengths, uh, curvatures and widths. The 0.2 is the width. We're gonna be using a variety of lengths on her also. Um, ranging from about 8 millimeter to 11 millimeter. This has to be done to pull the lids up just a little. Um, otherwise, we don't really want the uh, lashes to be laying on the pad. Um, if it's laying on the pad during the application, it would cause the uh, lashes to stick together. Use a very tiny amount of adhesive during the application. The adhesive should not at all be visible. It should look as if the natural, uh, the extensions are growing from her eyelid. Very, very natural. We place the lashes on a white pad, and uh, these are all the different lashes that I'm using today, or all the lashes that I use. But on her, we're using eight millimeters to 11. They're not the uh, low quality polyester lashes that you can get at the drugstore. These ones are um, only can be uh, bought through uh, people that are professionals, beauticians, estheticians. You must be licensed in order to do lash extensions in the state of New York. I'm using four different sizes. This are the, these are the eights, the nine, the tens, and the 11 millimeters. And like I said, we're doing that cat eye look. Cat eyes are shorter here, gradually longer towards the outer end. It's my most popular um, look. All right, so we use two tweezers during the application. One's in the left hand and one's in the right. So what I do is I go in, you have to find one individual strand of hair, pick up an extension, place it into the adhesive, and then we place it on that natural lash. One down. You have to be careful not to uh, let the lashes stick together because it creates a clumpy look. We have to avoid that. So you have to use um, just the perfect amount of adhesive, not too much that you're creating clump and not too little that um, the lashes won't stay on. The application takes about an hour, an hour and a half if someone's going for a super dramatic full look. Um, you can only um, have extensions where you have natural lashes. Uh, if you're a client that wants a very uh, voluptuous look and your lashes are very poor, meaning uh, short, sparse, then you won't be able to uh, achieve that look with these type of lash extensions. I would suggest getting strips. Do you feel comfortable? You should feel real comfortable. Yeah, I feel like I want to go to sleep. Okay, <laughs> so good. relaxing. Mm -hmm. So what I'm doing is I'm placing the uh, extensions one millimeter away from her eyelid. And um, what happens during um, the weeks um, prior to her uh, touch up, the base of the lash grows out away from the eyelid. When you come in for a touch up, you should have 50 to 80% of the lashes still attached. And um, all the lashes that's grown out and grown crooked, you have to replace and we will just take her up to the 90 to 100 strands per eye, whatever she started with. Natural lashes grow in layers, so when you're applying the lashes, you have to be sure to uh, 
really carefully place the extensions, otherwise you would get a really choppy look with the application. Um, eyelash extensions became really popular over the last, I would say, I've been doing this almost five years. I have clients coming in uh, that are just uh, housewives to professionals, business owners, um, celebrities. These are really popular with celebrities. Um, Kim Kardashian is very uh, famous for her lashes. Uh, it just makes life so much easier. No mascara, no fuss. You wake up looking beautiful. I've been told that lash extensions have changed my clients' lives. Natural Lashes has a life cycle to, um, of about 60 to 90 days. So every 60 to 90 days, you have a completely new set of um, lashes. I typically only use uh, black. Very few of my clients have brown on. Even my blondes that come in, they want a pop. They don't want browns, they want uh, black. Some clients are a little uh, intimidated by the number 80 or 100 when I tell them that um, that's how much I think they would need um, for the application. But um, as you will see, it's uh, a very natural look. It's not overpowering at all. Um, typically, uh, we have 100 to 140 strands per eye of natural lashes. So applying 80 plus strands per eye is not even covering every single strand that you have available. And of course, there's some people that have much less, 80 strands. Uh, my Asian clients have like the least amount of um, volume when it comes to getting lash extensions. They have about 90, 90 to 100 strands per eye. If they have 100 strands, it's a lot. I'm just making sure there's no two lashes stuck together. It's extremely important. So now this application's done on the right eye. She's getting more volume and length. Um, as you can see, just looking at the uh, eyes while they're closed, these lashes are much thicker, longer. Um, she has more pop over here than here. Her lashes, like I said before, she has good lashes, but they're fine. Um, over here, she definitely has more pop. So we'll go ahead and remove. and then we'll compare the two of them. And now we're gonna go ahead and start the application on the other eye. When applying the extensions, you have to ensure proper placement. You don't want the uh, client's eyes to look crisscross and mangled. Even if the client's natural lashes are naturally crisscrossed, when applying the extensions, you, there has to be a lot of correction. You have to correct that. We're all done with the application. It took about an hour. So amazing. That looks I, amazing. I can't even describe it. That's just... Thank you. Beautiful. James Caliardos here at Ruffian. And hi. hi. How's the, what's the look that we're going for here? We're going for like a very graphic look. Their clothes were inspired by jockeys, so we wanted like a thoroughbred looking, beautiful, perfected girl with liquid liner and a false eyelash that we're mascaring with this dual um, mascara that they have. And then, um, Pen Ultimate is this liquid liner that comes almost like a calligraphy pen, so it's always sharp, and it's just really easy to just go like whack and do it. You can't screw it up, like because you know what I mean. It, it's hard to do liner, and I always feel like women, if they could perfect their liquid liner, it would be like jumping out of an airplane skydiving. Like once you do it, there's just nothing you couldn't do. So then we're the story is using this. Um, this blush called Peach. 
which is a pale peach, and um, we're using it like vertically on the, not vertically, at, as a, at an angle on the cheek, almost inspired by Sheena Easton <laughs> from the 80s. So in the 80s, they would have done it a little bit like stronger in the color, but in this way, it's done, um, it's softer, but it adds a punch of color to the face, which I thought was really good for spring. I think spring's about color. Color's important this season, and whether it's on the eye, on the uh, bright, on the lip, or the cheek. I think there's also this trend of like a, you know, we say natural often for spring, but this natural this season is kind of like lots of makeup natural. A, a natural that would have been done in the 70s with Lauren Hutton, or again, like Richard Avid on pictures from Vogue, where people looked made up and really gorgeous, but they're in sweat clothes and they're taking a jog or something. But you know that where you have makeup, you have mascara, you have you deepened your eye socket, and you have like a tawny colored blush, and maybe like a lip that's like stained with. Um, there's this great Mac color called um, Nice and Spicy, which is like your own lip color intensified. So it's like you can still look natural but you're playing with tones that are, you know, pumped up from what you would have if you go exercise and you look really healthy and like all your blood's pumping through your face. Well, when you're putting on liquid liner, it's very tricky, but if you lift your forehead and then your eyelid becomes flat and then you can just sort of use your own eyelashes as a way of, as a, a guide to where to put the liner because I think that's it. I see a lot of women trying to do liner like this and they lower their forehead and then it's hard to get in there so you want to like lift your forehead and then you have this flat surface to, to work on and then it's super easy. talking with Daniel Martin here at the Chris Ben Show and tell me about the look you went for. Um, the look on um, the season we always pick a makeup muse and for inspiration and our makeup muse this season was Candy Darling. Um, she was one of Andy Warhol's muses in the 60s and so what we wanted to do was we wanted to do um, washes of color uh, we wanted to keep the makeup a little bright but dumbing down the skin being more radiant and more luminescent um, so we're doing the seafoam green in the eye and then pulling it out um, tons of mascara with Lancome Hypnos um, doll lash and like three coats on the eyes. Then we're lining the lash line um, with our gel liner and black fishnet. Um, tangerine tint on the cheeks on the highest part. And then we're pushing in the lip color, um, which is a sequins love shade, which is like a coral red. Um, yeah, so it's really bright, it's really fun. Um, but it's more like washes of color rather than a lot of placement. And we're keeping the brow really no color, just something really simple. And what are you seeing for trends for the spring? You're going to see a lot of orange, a um, lot of fuchsia. I think you're going to see a lot of women experiment with color on the lips this season. Um, I think because there's so many different variations of textures that women feel more comfortable now wearing something brighter. Um, so you're going to see a lot of color.